Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Hughesman and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm so excited to show y'all my very, very giant Sephora haul. <laughs> There's a lot. And I was going to do this as a what to buy in the Sephora big sale, but unfortunately the items didn't come on time, so instead I'm doing an old school YouTube haul. So I hope you get some inspiration for what new items to pick up, some little luxuries to buy for yourself, or maybe a new item to try out. So I'm really excited to show these all to you. Let's get started. <music> today and you might have noticed my set is a little bit different there is some big news coming of why this looks different so excited to announce it so make sure you subscribe to my channel with those notifications on so y'all can be the first ones to hear when I announce my big news so from Sephora I got this huge box in the mail which is just overfilling with goodies so I went in store because I wanted to pick up a new Joe Malone perfume. I've already taken it out because I have been using it. It definitely is a treat. It is an expensive item, but I just love the smell. I feel like I seriously just walked into a garden of roses and I haven't found a perfume that just smells like one singular scent like that in a long time. So when I wear it, I just, oh, it's just such a good, good perfume. And I'm actually wearing it now. It just, it smells so good. If you've never smelled it, go into Sephora and try it out. Most perfumes I feel like have like all these notes, which is great. And they have this mixture of smells, but this seriously just smells just like fresh cut roses and nothing else. So I'm a big fan and I love spraying it, not just on me, but kind of around my house to give it a nice rose smell. Next up, I got the Sephora Beauty Insider First Aid Beauty Kit. This was 500 points and it comes with a face cleanser, a rescue mask, facial radiance pads, and the ultra repair cream. I just like to try different things and pick up little goodies where I can, especially for if I'm going to be like traveling to my parents' house and I need smaller sizes. So this is perfect. I've used a couple of the items in here. I'm obsessed with this cleanser. I've never used it before. And I just think it leaves my skin so moisturized, which most cleansers I find like strip my skin. So that was great. Everything will be linked down below. So if you see anything you like and wanna go ahead and check it out, or have questions about the exact item or description, be sure to check those links out and I will try and link everything. There's a couple things that I'm not sure if they're still on the site, like the Sephora Beauty Insider stuff, but otherwise everything will be down below. So I'm not sure if I can link these down below because it is a Sephora Beauty Insider, but I will link the larger products of the stuff in here. I haven't tried everything, so I'm not gonna give a recommendation. I have tried the cleanser and I am very obsessed with it. Next up, you will see a lot of these, but I wanted to call this one out in particular. This is the Isle of Paradise Light Self Tanning Water, and this has been going in and out of stock for ages. So I really tried to stock up on this, and when I saw it in store, I was just so excited to try it out because my package wasn't coming for another week. But there's like floaties inside. I don't know, if this is normal for tanning water, please let me know, I've only ever used a San Tropez. But I, I'm too scared to use it because I don't know if like bacteria got into it or what's going on. But the other self tanning waters it, for this exact product don't have it. So I think I'm gonna try and return this to the store, maybe get a refund. I don't know, I don't want them to like restock it because clearly there's something wrong with it. <laughs> so the next items are the ones that I got shipped to me. It did take like two and a half weeks to come. I'm not sure if that's because Sephora is busy or the USPS is busy or if it was just a crazy fluke, but it did take forever to come. And I feel like normally Sephora is like one or two days. I was really shocked. You will see that I really stocked up on tanning water. This is the Isle of Paradise Self Tanning Water Refill. And these are like $24 each. I got the medium, I got the light in the spray bottle. I got another medium and a medium in the spray bottle and then another dark of the refills. And the reason I got this is because I saw this awesome hack on TikTok where you can get a continuous spray mister and just spray your entire body, almost like a spray tan booth. And they recommended these because there's less plastic if you get the refills and they're pretty cheap. I think they were like $24 each for a refill, 28 for the spray bottle. So I'm really excited to try these out, but I'm now noticing like a lot of them have floaties, but not all of them. So I really, don't know what's going on here. I'm very suspicious. So that this one has floaties. This one does not have floaties. I'm gonna like sort them. This one has floaties. Maybe it's just like the lighter shades have the floaties. This dark one has no floaties and this spray bottle has like a few, but not as many. I'm 
kind of sketched out. So I might be sending all of those back before using them. So I'm definitely a little sketched out. Please, 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 if you've used these, leave a comment down below letting me know if this is normal. But I definitely am considering returning the mediums. Definitely gonna be returning the light because there's just so many floaties. And then I'm most excited about the dark. I'm hoping it doesn't make me orange because normally I use like a medium or light just because I'm so pale. So I am excited to try these out. It does say they're 81% less plastic. And I also got a continuous spray bottle from Amazon. So maybe I'll try and put like a little clip in of me using it. But this was 100% TikTok made me buy it. And I think the reason these were so sold out was because everyone else had the same idea. There's so many little samples, but I'll save these for the end. Next up, I got this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream, and I really needed a new night cream, and this one has collagen peptides and niacinamide, and yes, I 100% bought this because Hiram recommended it. He is my go-to skincare like guru, so when I was looking for a new night cream, I watched a bunch of his videos. This came really highly recommended, and I'm really excited to try it so far. I really liked it. It's a really thick cream, so I wouldn't recommend it during the day. It was perfect for nighttime, and I feel like I wake up with really hydrated skin. These next items are something y'all have probably heard me talk about before if you guys are long time subscribers to the channel, but this is the Necessaire The Body Wash. And I actually got two in the eucalyptus scent because these are my absolute favorite. And everything I bought was about like 20% off because I am like the rouge level at Sephora. So I just thought while they were on sale, I would stock up on something that I know I'm gonna use and I'm really excited. I just finished my last bottle in my shower. So these are gonna be restocks. Even like through the packaging, you can smell. They smell amazing. They're so good for your skin. They tell you everything on the back, but they're like a gel. They have vitamin A, vitamin B3, vitamin C, vitamin E, omega-6, and nine. And I just find that they don't strip my skin, but I still feel clean which I don't find in a lot of scented body washes. So these are my favorite. And then to go with that, I also got the Necessaire, the body lotion, and this is unscented. And it's just really nice to put on your skin and know you're not leaving fragrance on or things that could irritate it. Because I have found that as I've gotten older and as I've gotten paler, <laughs> my skin is really sensitive. Maybe reactive is a better word because it turns red if I even just like touch it. <laughs> Maybe not on camera, but if I'm like putting any product on my skin, it's probably gonna get red. So I've been trying really hard to find something fragrance free and something really good for sensitive skin. And this came highly recommended. And I've also been trying to find a lotion that I actually use. It's so much work. Maybe this is just me, but I find like it's so much work actually like rubbing it into your whole body. And this is one that I actually use. So any lotion that I'm actually using is a good one. I like to put this on, wait about 10 minutes and then apply my sunscreen on over top because I do wear sunscreen every day, but I find that this doesn't make it impossible to put the sunscreen on. Like you're not too oily that the sunscreen won't stick. Speaking of sunscreens, one of the things I was most excited about is to try out some more Super Goop products. So I got three. This is the Unseen Sunscreen that I've heard so many people rave about. I use the Elta MD sunscreen, but I've heard such good things about this. I wanted to try it out. I believe it's a chemical sunscreen. My eyes are super sensitive, so I'm really hoping that I can put this kind of like around my eye area without them burning. And then this is just the limited edition, like larger size. This is 2.5 fluid ounces. And I go through sunscreen like nobody's business. I put it on in the morning, put it on in the afternoon, try to apply every two hours if I'm outside so I definitely needed the bigger size and probably should have just gotten more of these but I wanted to try it out before I really like invested in a bunch of these and then lastly I have gotten this before but this is the resetting mineral powder and I really like this for if I'm wearing makeup and I still want to reapply my sunscreen it's nice just to brush it over and it is a mineral sunscreen so you actually get a physical barrier it is mineral so you're getting more of a physical barrier than a chemical barrier I like it because if I'm getting greasy I can use this as a touch up for grease as well as for if I feel like I just need some more sun protection and I'm just really excited to have another one of these. I will say the first one I had, I always threw it in my purse so it kind of got like cracked and grubby. So hopefully this one fares a little bit better, but honestly for having a sunscreen that I'm willing to apply over makeup, it's worth it to me to have to rebuy them a little bit more often because they get gross. So highly recommend if you're not wearing a sunscreen or you're only applying it in the morning, find some sort of system so you can reapply during the day because you really need to be reapplying sunscreen every two hours about 
out if you're out in the sun. And then the last two things are little luxuries that I threw in my cart because I just wanted to treat myself a little bit. A lot of these were like sunscreen or body washes or something I'd run out of. So these were truly just like indulgences. And one is the Chloe Perfume Body Lotion and the other is the Miss Dior Body Milk. And I just love at nighttime kind of spraying a little bit of perfume on me and going to bed feeling nice and scented. But I have heard that if you want the scent to stay longer, you should be using the body lotions as well as the perfume. So I thought these would be really nice for if I'm just having like a self-care night and I get out of the bath and I just want to smell really luxurious and really treat myself. These are some scented body lotions, whereas the Necessaire body lotion that I got is more for everyday use. These are to treat myself. If I'm going on a date night, I might put these on my legs or just a little bit on my arms to make that scent last longer. And then lastly, I just got some little goodies. This is the Valentino, the new perfume. I can't really smell it through here, but I'm kind of excited to try it out. I love perfumes and I've been building my collection. This is the Christopher Robin Mask Fondant Hydrate. Just a hair mask. I love these because I like when I go on trips or if I'm traveling to just kind of be able to throw a hair mask in if I'm gonna be gone for like a week, especially if I'm going to my parents' river house. The river water and the chlorine just wreck your hair. So having a single use hair mask is gonna be so great. This is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. I'm not sure how I feel about this since I think it is a physical exfoliant, but nice to try it out. And then this is the Juliet Has a Gun Not a Perfume. I don't really know what that means uh, since it seems like a perfume to me. I don't know if there is like catch there. Okay, so it says on the back, it's not a perfume, it's a molecular composition and will not resemble to anything you've ever tested before. Made out of a single ingredient, chances are you will experience a certain weakness at first glance, but don't rush too fast into conclusions. It's one of our top sellers and there's a good reason for that. The fragrance simply stands out. I'm actually, I'm not gonna try the Valentino one, but I am intrigued enough to try this one. It is just a little tiny sample and let's see. Oh, oh, it's leaking. I mean, yeah, it smells interesting. I, I guess I haven't smelled a perfume like this before, but it also could be a cleaning product. I don't know, maybe I'm really offending someone who this is their favorite perfume, but I feel like I wouldn't say I would like put this on for a date night, maybe if I wanted to like freshen up after the gym or if I was feeling a little like sticky after a hot summer day. It's really clean. So I would definitely put this on if I wanted to feel a little bit more fresh. But if I was going on a date night or somewhere romantic, I would not choose this perfume. So anyway, that was everything I got from Sephora. I hope maybe you found a new item to try out or a little luxury to treat yourself to. Like I said before, everything will be linked in the description box down below. So if you have any questions, feel free to check down there or leave a comment. I'm pretty responsive. I try to respond to every comment. So feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.